It's the city of scholars, the city of tea, the city of waters, the city of bridges, the city of calligraphy. We should just call it the city of everything that makes China awesome. This is Shaoxing. Hi, my name is Noah Kartha, and I make videos traveling around the world. And every place I go, I have to spin the wheel for a random travel challenge. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel for Shaoxing. Serenade someone in their favorite Chinese song. If you want to see me make a fool of myself, you can skip ahead to around the 145 mark. But hey, I know you click on this video because you want to know what Shaoxing is all about. And lesson one in Shaoxing 101 is that this is Chinese ancient town heaven. We're kicking off my Shaoxing tour here in Anchang Ancient Town. This place is some kind of ancient wharf market paradise. On one side here, we've got the gently flowing water. Water. Here in front are these hanging meats and sausages. The sausages are supposed to be a specialty here. Hanging all around me are all these kinds of contraptions, from the lanterns to there are these metal rods and wires sticking all about. And then on the other side, we've got this little alcohol shop. Shaoxing is famous for a lot of things, but one of the most famous is Shaoxing rice wine. Dating back over 2,000 years, it's one of the oldest rice wines in China. Anchang has been an important commercial center in this area of China for hundreds of years, full of all kinds of shops with master class specialists at their own craft. There's an undeniable romantic charm to be felt in every corner of Anchang ancient town. It makes me want to just sing out loud in Chinese, of course. You like uh, Chinese? Chinese? Yeah. Yeah. Well one of my favorite parts about China is how central to its culture and its people is music. There's no better path to a Chinese person's heart than through song, except when you butcher the lyrics like I did. Next, it's off to the largest tourism area in Shaoxing, known as the Kayan Scenic Area. Kayan is basically this combination of temples, bridges, gardens, and ancient towns, first developed over 2,000 years ago during the Han Dynasty. It is so touristy, but if you can block the ice cream shops, the merry-go-rounds, out of your mind, you can see this place for truly what it is, which is one magnificent journey through Shaoxing's nature and history. So far, I've been climbing mountains, riding boats from one island to another. A day at Cayenne is one grand adventure. And so has been my journey through Shaoxing. I tell you, the Shaoxing ancient towns just keep Rolling. Welcome to Lucian's hometown. Lucian is known as a Renaissance man in 19th century China with mastery in the skills of writing, translation, and the fine arts, just to name a few. Each street you wander down here tells a different tale of Shaoxing. Now keep in mind, today is Sunday and tomorrow Monday is May Day. So strolling along the main streets is just a tale of trying to catch your breath in an ocean of people. But turn down a side alley and you'll learn the tale of a quiet little shrine or the tale of a row of local bargain clothes shops, or the tale of a local baker selling his goods on the side of the street, the tale of an abandoned old neighborhood, or the tale of an oarsman sailing through a dreamy little water town. And I can tell you, after experiencing it firsthand, that 
is a highly recommendable collection of fairy tales. Just as romantic and charming is Sang Chow Street. Here you can find plenty of local shops between the worn and stained white walls, a quiet bar or two, and some of Shaoxing's grimiest and most delicious hole in the walls. But we still haven't seen what I'd argue is the most authentic slice of old Shaoxing, and that, my friends, would be Shusheng's hometown. The old stomping grounds of Wang Shijir, most famous for being a master of calligraphy during the 300s. The taxi that dropped me off here let me off on this bustling Shaoxing city street. But then upon entering this town, the honking horns soon fade away as you immerse yourself in the sights and sounds of an elderly man preparing his breakfast, of someone beautifully harmonizing old Chinese music on a keyboard. and lanterns that look like they haven't been touched since the Ming Dynasty. But by far, the most fantastic view maybe in all of Shaoxing is a view from the top of this bridge. If I was a painter, I would just grab a tiny stool and sit put right here for hours. The majesty of Shaoxing lies in its old towns. Sure, many other Chinese cities have their old streets and old towns, but if they're located in the city center, they've been fully commercialized. And if not, they're in the rural outskirts of the city and take forever to commute to. Come set up shop in Shaoxing ancient city for a weekend and you are set. Take a cab 20 minutes in any direction and you can get to a countless number of truly delightful ancient towns oozing with antiquity. It's no wonder why they call Shaoxing a museum without walls. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.